Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back, my name is Guy Hassan and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries Podcast, the one and only podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams, a daily fantasy podcast. And now, you know, there are many aspects uh, to the fact that we are covering her life from birth to death. There are so many things that repeat. Uh, something you see at a young age that comes back to haunt you at age 17, 19, 20, 30. Uh, Maybe it comes back to haunt you at age 12 and then again at 24 and so on and so on. Today, we are covering something that began, the first story was at age 2, I think in uh, episode 8, The Secret Weapon of the podcast. Today, she is 4 years old. And we are returning to that story, which, by the way, was hinted at uh, in that episode. And this story will come back to haunt us again and later in Joy's life. So we are beginning, you know, there are many types of things that repeat. This episode seems harmless. It seems like fun. But big things will happen as a result of it. And you don't know what that will be. Joy doesn't know. So... It's life. Life advances. Life moves on. And now we see the next step in this uh, part about the evil forest fairy king. Every time this guy returns, there will be repercussions for what happened last time. So no spoilers, but follow this guy. Anything that has to do with the evil forest fairy king. Follow this guy. Stuff will happen. There are repercussions and waves and unexpected waves throughout Joy's life. And today we're just at age four. Let's begin. Episode 143, The Tale of the Evil Forest Fairy King. Joy's age four, told by the Red Dragon. My dragon Lil was four and a few months old when her father helped tuck her in. It was the first time in a month or so that he had been able to do so. Over the last month, he had been appearing much later in the day and disappearing in the middle of an adventure almost every day. But this time the adventure had ended, the villain had been led to the infinite prison in the belly of Bunny's revenge, and Dragon Father had time to help Dragon Little go to bed. Dad, tell me about the time I peed on the fairy forest king. What? That again? My sharp dragon eyes could see him smile through the window of Dragon Little's cabin. This was a retelling of something that had happened when Dragon Little was only two years old, something I myself have told you before as well. Ever since, Dragon Lil would enjoy the retelling of that story, and every time he retold it, Dragon Father would add more detail to the story. All right, lie back down. There we were. You were two years old. We were in the fairy forest. The fairy's army had us cornered in a dangerous part of the forest. There were rocks to our left, rocks to our right, a massive boulder behind us, and the fairies were advancing towards us. They knew they had us cornered, he continued, so they stopped and called the fairy king. You know, Joy, he didn't want something we'd stolen from him. He didn't want something we possessed. He wanted revenge. Dragon Lil held his hand, which rested on her stomach, and giggled. I know what he wanted. He wanted me. That's right. He knew that if he took you away from me, that would hurt me so much, and he wanted to hurt me back for what we did to him soon after you were born. Yeah, so what did you do? I was ready to fight. I had my sword out. I had my laser pistol out, but I didn't see a way out. Not that day. And then... And then... And then, and then I had to pee. Yes, you told me you had to pee, so I knew you were my secret weapon. I told the evil fairy forest king. Stop. All right, I give up. You can have her. Dragon Lil laughed. And you gave me to him. Yes, I did. 
I told you it's all okay, and I took off your diaper. You had diapers back then. And I lifted you up and gave you to the king. And then, and then he held you in his arms, and, and, and you peed on him. Dragon Little's laughter exploded. I peed on him. Just like that, in an arc, into his face, into his face. He shouted and screamed, and I was able to use that to defeat most of the fairies before he put you down and was ready to fight. But by then it was too late. He was defeated, and you and I took him to the infinite prison where he resides to this day. Dragon Little laughed and laughed. Tell me again, tell me again. All right, way back when, when you were two years old. And Dragon Father told the story twice more before Dragon Little began to yawn. He sat next to her until she fell asleep. And then, as always, he disappeared. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags, the evil fairy forest king, Joy, Justin, the infinite prison, the infinite corridor. This is Joy's life. She has a father who disappears in the middle of an adventure. You know, something's happening in his sleep. To his sleep in his waking world, he goes to sleep, I think, uh, later. And he wakes up earlier and he doesn't come back. And when he does, he tells his daughter battle stories, crazy battle stories of battles that actually happened to them when she was two. And that's her life. And she's going to grow up and be a heroine. And this is part of the stuff that makes up who she is. And that's joy. That's our joy. That's my joy. And so come back tomorrow for the next episode called Baby Joy. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com, that's G U Y. H A W S O N G U Y H A S S O N at gmail dot com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs> Thank you.